Dinox Advice. Episode 32 Dealing with Toxic People Rant. Hello, everyone. This is Dinox Advice speaking once again. And today's topic, I'm going to be talking about toxic people. Because there's a lot I have to say about toxic people. The type of toxic people that I deal with in my life and in general as well. Probably people I haven't dealt with yet, which I hope that never happens to me. But the definition of toxic people, what is it exactly? Well, it's basically somebody who um, you don't feel like you want to be with this person because this person is pretty much making your life impossible, trying to make you feel bad. Being very selfish and wants your support even though they don't deserve it. A lot of other things as well. So to make sure that I haven't missed a single point, I have this paper right here. I written down like the type of toxic people and I'm going to explain a little bit about it each. Here are some of the types of toxic people you need to try to avoid at all costs. No matter what happened. I just want to point this out right now. Some of these toxic people out there that you may have could be your friends and your family members that you probably know for many years and something happened that things are changing between you two. I can understand how hard it is to let go of these type of people because like these people also have helped you in the past as well. But then you know after every single help that they have done for you, they expect you to like forcefully do something for them as well when you don't really feel like it. If you don't know what I mean by that yet, I'm gonna keep reading here. So one of the toxic people that you need to avoid is people that are envy of you. So basically these type of people that they are jealous of your accomplishments and they don't want to see you succeed. They will do everything they can to put you down, to make you feel bad, to say bad things about you. And most likely say bad things about you behind your back as well. Like saying that you suck, that you are not meant to be an artist or a video maker or any other talents you have. That you're mediocre, you're never gonna be at that level or something like that. And it really makes you feel very bad. And they're doing it because they're envy of your potential, your talents, and they want to stoop you down to their level because they are not able to do anything about their life, so they want you to be at their level. Yeah, you gotta avoid those type of people at all costs because it's not gonna help you grow as a person. You need to look for people that want you to grow, no matter where in society they are, where in their position they are. Another one is naggers. Yeah, that they are the type of people that complains about life, in front of you like to the point that it just becomes too much and they also annoy you as well they also try to waste your time with meaningless stuff that doesn't matter and time is so precious like I said in previous video you don't have time to waste against people that are not really contributing in any part of your life because if they're not helping you why should you help them you try to help them even though you don't expect anything in return but at the same time, you at least expect them to appreciate for your help and to try to treat you like a human being as well. That type of respect. Not saying, oh, I did this for you, you have to do something for me. No, not like that either. Even though business works that way. So, there's also the manipulators, the people that will make you feel bad if you don't do anything to help them because they helped you in the past. I kind of explained that. Yeah, and also the type of people that it's only your friend because they want something out of you like social status or money or materialistic possessions and all that stuff. These type of people just wants to get something out of you and once they have what they want, they will dish you and they will not give a crap about you. They will not apologize. They will not even do anything with you anymore. They don't want anything to do with you because you don't have anything of value anymore. Coming to relationships, like you need to choose your partner wisely. You can't have partners like that because once they get something out of you and you don't have anything more to provide them they're not going to be satisfied and it's going to be a lot worse if you are in a relationship in a marriage than it is as a friend because yeah it really hurts a lot more when you thought you could trust a person and then they backstab you as well and also there's blamers um, they blame you for everything every little mistake that you do or they false blame you like something that you haven't done it really feels crappy and because like this is why you don't tell people like everything about your life because they could try to take advantage of you of what you tell them and then they could twist it around towards other people and they could probably believe him more than you 
because you know I don't know why but a lot of people out there tends to believe the bad things a lot more than the good things in life or that once you do a bad thing in life no matter how many good things you do they're not gonna be forgiven and that's an effect that can actually ruin a person's life because you blame them for something they haven't done and even if they have done some mistake they try to improve themselves but they don't forgive you and th that creates a lot of toxic people in your life as well or for that person that you're trying to target if you are a toxic person yourself there's also distractors as well dude these type of people like i said earlier they're the type of people that just want to waste your time they're not contributing to anything in your life or yeah so they complain just like the naggers but they also try to say to you, oh, let's go to um, the pub or let's go to the movie theater of a movie that I want to watch and maybe you don't want to watch it. Uh, and then you tell them, um, no, thank you. I don't want to watch it. It's not really my kind of movie. And then what they do instead of saying, oh, okay, no problem. I understand. I understand you have things to do. Instead of that, they actually tell you, Oh wow, you're not coming with me to the movie? What kind of friend are you? If you're a good friend of mine, you would go with me there or you would actually buy this for me or something like that. And also people who love drama. I hate those type of people because it creates a lot of unnecessary issues in life because you have enough problems in this world naturally that you have. You want to avoid as much additional unnecessary drama unnecessary issues and troubles and problems that you could have in your life because those are the type of things that you're not looking for and then they're trying to look for trouble with you yeah you gotta get away from those type of people also let's see self-centered people yeah people that brags about themselves thinking they're the best thing of all time and everyone else sucks if you talk to them they only say good things about them and then when you try to tell them your ideas or stuff like that they just don't care they just don't listen to you and they just continue bragging about their success and their lives and stuff like that they openly talk to you because they want to feel self-evaluated and stuff and that's really horrible that's super toxic you gotta get away from those type of people now <laughs> and also scammers as well people that act like a, your friend and they're trying to look for yeah like i said earlier like the people that wants to look for you for money but they will try to convince you that what they're offering you you can't refuse and if you do refuse their offer they're gonna be very bad and then they're gonna show you their true self and they're probably gonna avoid you altogether rather you they avoid you altogether or they scam you toxic people you might as well avoid them a matter of fact i just recently got a person who is a fan of my debinar page likes my photography and stuff like that and then like this person wanted me to give the person access to my debinar account so they could like help me get more exposure or whatever but they refused to tell me who is the people promoting and all that stuff so i found that very fishy to be honest and i refuse obviously because i'm not gonna fall for this bull crap i'm not stupid i'm not stupid like that to fall for stuff like that yeah no offense you know for you and they try to become pity they try to make you feel bad for them and stuff like that so you can actually give them access or money and stuff like that they do a lot of uh, sappy stories and stuff so you could believe them and if you're weak-hearted you're most likely going to believe them especially if you're a guy and a girl is trying to say their sappy stories and you try to help them you got to be careful with girls like that too no matter how cute they are because i know that sometimes I have a, I'm a sucker for cute girls, but you know, <laughs> you gotta be careful with those type of people as well. You might as well be alone than with bad company. Okay, so a few more things that me and my friends that I know has been through these type of toxic people. So, I personally have dealt with a lot of bipolar people. Most, the majority of them being female. Yes, no surprise, right? So, these are the type of people that I dealt with that says oh yeah i'll go out with you um, i'm looking forward to it and all that stuff and then the next moment they suddenly don't want to go out they suddenly give you the lamest excuse in the world why they can't go and stuff like that or they're too busy or then suddenly this comes up and then it made that priority let me tell you something about being busy guys you're never too busy for anything what separates everything that you do is your priorities what is your priority if you really like someone for example even if you are studying a master's degree and you're also working as well, you will take out at least half an hour, maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes to talk to that person if you really love them. They will make time for you if they really care about you a lot. So that's a good sign of uh, the people you should keep around, of course. 
Now, I have a friend of mine. I'm not gonna mention any names because even if it's a friend, they don't mind. I'm not gonna mention any names whatsoever to not give the, the people that are toxic an idea or of anything that is them that I'm talking about. But maybe they have an idea, but I'm not gonna mention anybody. Now, these type of people, I have a friend of mine that has a two-story floor, has a lot of reserved rooms, and um, like, I mean, she could get people to stay in a room in her house because like there's like five rooms in her house. She has two story building. It's amazing. You could renovate that place, have people rent it out. She has done that, but guess what? A lot of these people that, like two or three of these people that have stayed in her place to help out in the house, maybe they have helped out some point, but sometimes she has told me that they have been very lazy, that they don't do much for her in return because she actually offered them to stay in their place for shelter and stuff. And the least that they could do is at least pay a little bit of rent. And it's probably going to be discounted compared to like if you're in a landlord and you have no idea who they are. And they don't know nothing about you either. So it really frustrates me to hear something like that. That they don't help them with the rent and they don't help out much in the house. And they're just there to take advantage of their generosity. And I'm glad that they kicked them out. It took her a while but they kicked them out. It's ridiculous. You shouldn't let anybody in who is not really to uh, pay rent or anything like that. You should have a legal bond or something like a written legal bond saying that if you're going to live here, you're going to have to make a down payment or something like that in the first month. And then, you know, see how it goes. And if they stop paying, I'm sorry, you got to get out of here because you're just trying to take advantage. I have bills to pay. I have light, light bills. You're using a lot of electricity as well. And they're not even helping out. And they're abusing and they're just taking advantage. Screw those people, get them out of their life, and I'm glad that she did that. Okay, bossy people that I deal with, oh my god. I can name three people, which I'm not gonna do, but three people in my life, or two, I don't remember, that are super freaking bossy. That they tell me that I should do this and stuff like that, and I don't really feel like doing it. And at that time, I was really weak minded. I was very emotional. I basically, I almost do anything they say so they don't get mad with me or stuff like that. But those type of people now, if they try to boss me around and I'm not really feeling comfortable about it, screw you, I'm, I, you're out of my life. Because those type of people, they just, they wanna feel like that they're superior to you, and then they do nice things for you as well. So you could feel like that they could take care of you or something like that. But it's really annoying when they try to rule over you. They try to always win arguments as well. Like no matter what you say, they always want to find a way to win. And it's annoying really because it makes you powerless. Because no matter what you say, they always want to be the winner. And they think that everything that comes out of your mouth is trash. Literally trash. That pisses me off. I'm glad I don't have those type of people in my life anymore. And if I, for some reason, do I have noticed it, I'm gonna detect that as soon as possible. Okay, so yeah, I had a lot of people as well that says a lot of crap behind my back. And I'm gonna be straight and honest with you. Like things I have done in the past, mistakes I have done in my past, I have realized it. I tried to improve myself and stuff. But there has been times that they still say a lot of crap behind my back based on my past mistakes. And then people believe it and they're not going to forgive me whatsoever for the past mistakes that I have done. Or anything about me in YouTube that I do that they find that I'm annoying and stuff like that. Or anything like that, dude. Any single flaw that they find of me, they will actually define it. That's how I am in general with that flaw and that I'm never gonna improve and stuff and then they're gonna spread around the world with everybody they know so they could avoid me, they could say bad things about me, they could talk trash about me. And those are very toxic people. It's kinda hard to avoid them because you're gonna get haters on your YouTube channel no matter what. The best thing to do, which I'm definitely working on a lot more, which I don't even pay attention to them for the most part, but I still have to improve on that. Don't even pay attention to these type of people. Like if they try to give you thumbs down, I got to say to myself, well, most of these thumbs down is because these people are haters, they're jealous of me, and mostly people that write me, comments to me, let's be honest. You go to their YouTube channel, they have nothing to show off 
uh, nothing to prove that they're better than me or they're entitled of telling me what I should do with YouTube and stuff. I accept any construction criticism for people that has experience on the field that they do. Like if they're a content creator and they want to give me construction criticism, that's great because I can learn something new and they have experience. But if it's on some throw and hater, I'm just going to ignore it all together. Okay, so yeah, I just explained the YouTube haters. That was the next thing I was going to explain. Now, there is one more thing I want to explain before I get going, guys. It's the type of people that a friend of mine, I'm not going to mention her name either, but I was talking to her recently about a friend of the significant other that they have like the significant other of my friend has a friend that talks crap about her she thinks that she's an animal and that the person that's in love with her thinks that she's practicing bestiality this is why i'm not mentioning any names they know who i'm talking about but i'm not gonna mention any names to not expose anybody but that's freaking crap really like if you have someone that says stuff about you and yet this person doesn't want to completely let go of that person because they knew each other for years and stuff like that and they helped each other in the past. My advice to that to be honest is that you really have to reevaluate exactly where you stand with that person because if that person just doesn't stop and it disrespects the person that you are in love with or good friends with or whatever then what kind of friend could that person be? That's all I have to say. What kind of friend could tries to talk crap about them uh, behind their back and then they tell about it and then that person tries to explain to the person that's talking crap that you should leave her alone and you're not entitled to say that and stuff like that and yet they keep doing it they do it over and over again and they keep telling it and nothing's happening and stuff like that and then it comes to a point that nothing's changing the problem remains and if you really like that person a lot you do whatever you can to fix this problem no matter what so yeah, this is why toxic people, you need to get them out of your lives as soon as possible because if you notice anybody who tries to put you down, who falls into anything that I have just mentioned right now, you need to think about like what place do you have with these people? Are they contributing to your life? Are they helping you, giving you advice or trying to help you uh, get through any difficulties that you could be going through in life? Like you really gotta think about all that stuff and if they're not willing to change uh, their ways, if you see that they're gullible and they don't wanna change whatsoever, you just gotta let them out. You gotta block these people from social media. You gotta find a way to cut them out and if they keep harassing you because this is gonna be harassment going forward. If you tell them something to stop and they keep doing it, that's harassment right there. You could call the cops on them and they could do like some sort of restraining order to make sure that they stop doing it. Because I have a friend here who has a guy who keeps harassing them and he keeps passing by her house every time. It's been like two years and this guy's obsessed over her. And then he had to go to jail for a few months and then he got released and then he saw her again and he got a little obsessed with her again and she's trying to avoid him, blocked him for all social media. But yeah, these guys are freaking toxic, extremely toxic. Those type of people screw them may god have mercy on them may god change their ways because i believe that everyone deserves a second chance but they have to be genuine about it they have to prove that they deserve a second chance so yeah i apologize for this dog video i feel like that i had to explain exactly what's going on with the talk to people because i have a lot of these type of people it makes me feel very uncomfortable they're not helping me grow they're helping me feel worse. They're trying to ruin my life pretty much in the long term. You can't be with those type of people. So anyway, that's all I have to say about this. Comment below if you feel like you have talked to people. Maybe you could tell me your problems. Maybe I could give you advice personally to yourself in the comment section below. I can reply to those. And like if you have any advice for me against toxic people, I'm cutting them off my life little by little. The toxic people or the people not helping me out. Or people that doesn't care about me or can't make time for me if I, if I try to make time for them but they don't make time for me. Yeah, those type of people. You know, just keep the people close. It's better to have like five good people that are really to help you out in your life. That are really to be there for you in the good times and the bad times. Than to have like 200 or 300 people on Facebook for example that doesn't give a crap about you, that's just there to take advantage of you or something like that, anything I mentioned. Yeah, 
just think about what's more important to you in life who you want to keep close and who you want to stay away from anyway that's all i have to say about this video if you find this video informative be sure to share this video be sure to subscribe to this channel because i will have a lot more advice with many different values and stuff like that so hopefully that any videos that i put up or any videos i currently have on my channel could help you in the long term so yeah until next video guys take care god bless and stay cool bye bye thank you for watching this video to the end if you want more advice world or life experience discussion for me subscribe today and click on the bell next to it so you can receive notification whenever new videos becomes available see you then